What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm just sitting in my kitchen. I was working in the house today and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a video real quick because um, I had something run through my mind and I wanted to share it with you um, really briefly. I did an interview, I had Brad Lee. Brad Lee, he's the owner of and founder of Lightspeed. Okay, it's a technology company over in Vegas and I did an interview with him. I'm gonna put it below, it's on my second YouTube channel. It was an incredible interview. Um, this guy really did, I really learned a lot through the interview. There was a lot of aha moments and um, just a lot of things that I could relate to. It's one that you really need to go listen to. Again, I'll put a link in the description so you can listen to the whole thing. But there was one thing that he asked me that I just keep thinking about and I can't get out of my mind. And that is, he asked me if he gave me a million dollars, right? He handed me a million dollars, but I couldn't wake up tomorrow. Okay, if I took the million dollars, I will not wake up tomorrow. Okay, and I said, so you're saying if I take the million dollars, I'm gonna die tonight. He said, you're not gonna wake up tomorrow. You're just not gonna wake up. So, in other words, you're dead. I said, okay, well, if that's the case, I'm not gonna take the million dollars. Okay, he said, what about two million? Would you take two million dollars if you weren't gonna wake up tomorrow? I said, nope. He said, what about three? I said, zero, my guy. There is no amount of money that I would take that if I took the money, I wouldn't wake up the next day. There's zero amount of money. And he said, so what you're telling me is that waking up tomorrow is worth three million or more? Or you just said there's no amount of money, so does that mean that waking up is more than infinity amount of dollars to you? And you know, that really put things into perspective for me. It was like, wow, you're right. Waking up, breathing air, the fact that we're alive, we have so much to be grateful for, and people are waking up every day mad about this, mad about that, frustrated about this, wishing they could be more successful, wishing they weren't doing what they're doing, um, all kinds of things. Mad at different political parties, different things going on. You know, it, it really, when he said that, it's just rang in my head every day since. Waking up in the morning is worth more than an infinite amount of dollars. Now I asked a friend of mine who's a financial advisor, I asked him the same thing. I said, Mike, if I gave you a million dollars and you took it, but you couldn't wake up tomorrow, would you take it? He said, no. I said, what about two million? No, what about three million? And then he started thinking, and he started thinking, well, it gets to a point where it's enough money that even if you don't wake up tomorrow, you can leave that to your family. And it gets to a point where maybe it makes sense, right? And I thought that was a very interesting perspective. <laughs> this is coming from a financial advisor. So I thought that was a very, really interesting perspective. But at the end of the day, what I think is most important here is not the fact that if and and you were to take a billion dollars and give that to your family. We all know that just waking up in the morning is worth a lot to us. And I think most of us aren't grateful enough. Most of us aren't thanking our lucky stars that we're here on earth. Gary Vaynerchuk says it's, it's one in four 400 trillion that you actually become a human. Okay, that all the, all the stars line up, okay, and you actually become a human. One in 400 trillion is the number that he uses. Not sure where he got that, but the fact that we're here on earth and we're able to enjoy everything that, that life has to offer, good or bad, right? You don't enjoy the good times unless you have bad times to go behind it. So, guys, the point of this video is is to please stop being upset with where you are in life and start enjoying every little step of the process. When I was homeless in my car, sleeping in my friends' couches, sleeping in my car, I was just, I'm telling you, this is not a lie, I was just as grateful 
and happy as a person as I was before all that, when I was making all that money and I was living all this great life and everything, I was just as happy when I was sleeping in my car because at that point in my life, I just really didn't care. I was more interested in what I could learn and how hard it could work. I wasn't focused on necessarily the results, I was focused on the results. I didn't learn about not being focused on results till a lot later on in life. 2015 was the year I learned, don't focus on results, only focus on your daily actions and what you can control. So, but at the end of the day, I was just as happy then as I was before and I would just got up and worked. If the market crashes tomorrow and I lose everything, I'm doing the same thing that I do now. I'm gonna get up at 4.30, I'm gonna answer DMs, I'm gonna work out, and I'm gonna go to work as hard as I can. Even if I'm starting over from zero, it's gonna be the exact same strategy every day. My day-to-day -day wouldn't change. I would continue to push as hard as I can, just like I am now. So with that, I hope you guys found a lot of value in this video. Hit me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Go watch that entire interview with Brad Lee and subscribe to my second channel. I would really appreciate it. And let me know what in the world I can do for you. We'll talk to you guys on the next video. Let's go.